Well, this, this piece is called 24 Weeks, um, and it's about abortion, late abortion. The, the argument about the abortion is that people have very complex feelings about it, and they have to, that has to be reflected in a, in, in a drama about it. So we had five hours rehearsal yesterday, and today we'll have had about eight hours. And then the audience is sat there at seven o'clock this evening. So um, it's very fast. Today I'm doing a performance, uh, a radio play, in front of a live studio audience, which myself I have never done before, so it will be a first for me. So, so the, there's been another editing process over you know, the past two days, but it's... We, we, we went through it as much as we could. We sort of like, you know, chronologically went through the piece for a few hours and sort of like there was a few corrections or uh, new dialogue added, added or dialogue taken away and just tightened up and, and that was Tony and Kate worked together on that. You can't change the structure of the script, you know, you can change things within the scenes but you can't change the structure of the script and if you were contemplating doing that then all that would prove was that you, um, you your script wasn't ready. <laughs> What is so brilliant, especially I think about both the script and, and the actors that we've got, is that they're so instinctive about the material and they, they care passionately about it. Technically it's quite difficult because although it's a radio play, we know there's a live audience, so there's sort of a theatrical element to it. Mm. So it's trying to keep that theatricalness about it, but knowing that there are going to be thousands of listeners listening to it afterwards. We've been quite physical with this script. Um, the actors are doing things, whether it's they have to get down on the floor or on a bed, uh, and keep the pace up of the, the drama. Um, and they, they are reading it at the same time without making it sound like, like... I have to keep reminding myself that this isn't a stage play because it's got the trappings of a... I mean, structurally it's like a stage play in lots of ways. I mean, there are sort of only six or seven main scenes. It's not as if there are lots of small scenes. Um, but it's not a stage play, and the point is to listen to it, not watch it. And that is what's been interesting to me, is when I've stopped watching them and sort of sat, turned the other way and listened, then I appreciate the, the, the piece in a completely different way. What people aren't seeing are the studio manager um, and the, t the technical talent behind the production as well, because it feels like, oh, it's all easy and the actors are there. And you must never forget that this is a collaborative effort to get this to, to work and the balancing that's going on which is making it all seem so kind of smooth.